11-year-olds begin a new semester. It's the first day after a summer recess that lasted only four weeks. Now the happy wanderers are brought back into life. Every culture gives things to its members and asks for things in turn. Japan has made children a priority, but there is a price. This day's events are distinctively Japanese, but all around the room there's evidence of those universal characteristics of first graders. The worry. Will I speak up loud enough? And those missing two front teeth. On this same day, in every Japanese school, the same drill. Japan has more than 1,000 earthquakes every year. Disaster is a reality of life that not even children can be shielded from. This nation has decided to make sure its citizens are well prepared. As with all of education, government and schools make the plan, but parents are expected to play their part. It's this close relationship of school, home, and community that drives Japan's educational success. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's make a moon. Let's make a moon. Chizuka already Let's takes English moon. classes on weekends and practices hard at home. Okay. 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 Chizuka's father is a graphic artist, his work very contemporary. But the Nakayamas try to embrace the future without losing the past. In the weeks before school reopened, the entire family had gone on their annual vacation to the ancient silk-making city of Kiryu. They would see parades and festivals and visit Shizuka's grandparents. They made time for a gesture of respect to the older generation from Shizuka and her 14-year-old sister Karuna. The formality showed the sisters how their own parents felt about the enduring value of the past. For Chizuka, grandfather, a retired Shinto priest, was a living embodiment of traditional values. Every society has expectations about what children are and how they should be treated. Up to seven, runs a Japanese saying, a child lives with the gods. Centuries of high death rates led to a habit of indulging young children. But even before age seven, a Japanese child witnesses very clear models of the close relationship of individual to society. Expectations powerfully clothed in symbols and ceremony. Every society has its rituals. What's unique about Japan is how tightly family and community fit. Some Japanese now worry that adults dominate children's lives too much and discourage independent thought and action. The Nakayamas want their daughters to fit in but also to become independent. Parents go back and forth between two competing ideas of childhood, letting children blossom or pruning like a bonsai tree. 
それを「出る釘は打たれる」っていうような言葉遣いがある。